What's up YouTube, Kenny here, and first off I'd like to say it, I'm sorry for not making a video for so long, I really should be getting back into the habit, but uh, school's been quite busy lately, but hopefully we will get back in the routine again. Today, we're going to be going over what's called offline authentication for servers with online mode set to false. This is what also be called a non-premium or cracked server. The plugin that I use for this is called XAuth, however you say it, I'm just pronouncing it there. Um, it's on an offline mode authentication. I recommend it because I think it's personally like the best one out there. There's another one called AuthMe, which also works fairly well, but there's some things that I don't like about it, and I like about this one better. But to start, let's go ahead and download the latest version, so we can download version 2.0.9. And you may have actually noticed that this isn't on bucket dev, it's on the forums currently. There was an older version of it, but the developer stopped developing it. So CypherX started, or he picked it up, and this is where it's led him. So once you download it, it'll come in a zip file. So you need to unzip that and it'll open into a folder. Go ahead and take that jar file and drag it into your plugins directory. Now, if you don't have a server, you can go ahead and click on the annotation on the screen and it will bring you to one of my tutorials showing you the easy way to make one. So now that it has been dropped into our server, we can go ahead and start it up by double clicking the start dot command or the start dot bat. So the server is starting up in the console. And you can see immediately it's starting to download its library and all of its needed components. Okay, so now that our server is completely started up, we can go ahead and join the localhost server. And immediately you can see that XAuth has prompted us for our password and it'll start broadcasting this message to you. Uh, you can already see it. it was fairly bad spawn point here but we can change that so you would do slash register and then you would set your own password whatever that might be for this tut tutorial for the sake of this it's not really gonna be secret it's gonna be password so now I'm registered now we do slash login and then our password and bam you're logged in so now that you're done with that now if you were to disconnect and then reconnect your login session has been resumed very nice feature there now to prevent any future possible lag between my computer and the screen recorder I'm gonna be using or I'll be showing you guys how to use this plugin on my server so I don't have to be running a server having Minecraft open and a few other applications I'll open also because it's very CPU heavy anyways um, all of these messages such as the ones when you do register and login are fully customizable it's a really neat feature of X auth that I really do like so I'm just gonna go ahead and disconnect and show you guys how to do this so this generated folder should be in your plugins folder so messages are the messages you can configure and the config is just like any other so we'll go ahead and start with that um, we're gonna be focusing mainly on the basics on this tutorial we're not gonna be going over MySQL databases or anything like that if you guys are at that level then you most likely will understand how to set all of this up so we're gonna be focusing on this stuff down here so registration that's basically whether or not you want the people to have to do slash register when they join your server. So enabled and forced are kind of self-explanatory. Require email. Now, this is another feature you can use, and they will have to input their email. And they might even have to validate the email by checking their email with their password and doing the whole validation thing. Um, I usually just don't use that feature. It could be quite useful, though, in some cases and you can set an account limit by leaving it at zero you are letting them have an unlimited amount of accounts so if you wanted to prevent them from registering more than let's say six accounts then now they can't register more than six accounts so we'll go ahead and leave that um, and then require login is basically they must do slash login after registering 
Now this is password settings. You can set the minimum length and how complex it is, like whether or not you need to have a lowercase, uppercase number or symbol in it. Most of this is self-explanatory. I'm just trying to clarify it all. Now this category here is basically they log in and how long it'll take before it'll automatically kick them from the server from just standing still not doing anything so this is in seconds so whatever that turns out to be you can't really do the math in my head right now um, and this will basically these are self-explanatory once again uh, hide inventory whether the inventory is there or not whether they can access it when they're not logged in you can add uh, commands here. These are the normally permitted commands. Rest you can restrict what the player can do. Now, I usually turn player chat to false. Now, you may ask why. Well, I usually do that because if the player's having trouble, then well, I, I want them to be able to ask other admins or people for help. I don't want them to just be stuck and not being able to do anything. So I usually set that to false. And once again, self-explanatory, interact whether they want them to be able to break blocks, move, or pick up items that were broken. Uh, still pretty much all the same. Now, session here is, if you remember right, the whole lo your login session has been resumed. This is how long that session will last. And this is in seconds again. Now strikes is how many times you can get your password wrong. So if you get your password wrong five times, you're going to be locked out for 3,600 seconds. And I believe that's about an hour or exactly an hour. So that's that. That's as much as I'm going to be going over on this config. So then you can go ahead and save it. And now we can go over the messages. Now there's so much in here it's basically personalization I mean you can just about customize this to your heart's content um, unfortunately I don't have time to go over each and every single one of these because it would once again be kind of redundant because a lot of them are pretty much the same and once again self-explanatory I mean if you don't really understand something you can go ahead and send me an email at mrcomputeranswers at gmail.com and I'll try to respond as quickly as I can but I think you guys will be able to pick this up quite easily. Um, when you see stuff like this, this is a string which is, or a variable in coding and you can, this is basically referencing it. So usually you don't want to mess around with those. As far as the colors go, I have a picture of all of the colors and this will hopefully be in the description of the video somehow, whether it be a download link or some such thing of writing. Um, so you can customize that and once you're done it you can save it restart your server or reload or actually you could just reload the plugin and other than that I think we're about done today um, guys if you have any questions once again like I did say before please do feel free to email me at mrcomputeranswers at gmail.com other than that we are done for today if you guys want to pop by and say hello and you know, join my server, you guys can do so at this IP here. We have a 24-7 server and it is hosted, so it will hopefully always be up. Any questions, email. That's it for today, guys. I'm Kenny, and I'll see you next time.